Welcome back guys, it's your boy Blue, and we're here back on X-Plane 11 on Pilot Edge for our 7th of 11 VFR training flights here to do our CAT 7 flight. Uh, today's objective is to conduct a flight from San Bernardino International Airport to El Monte Airport and transition the Ontario Class Charlie airspace route. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that even means. So we will be starting here at San Bernardino, which is a class Delta, which is uh, drawn by this dashed blue line. That's how you know it's a class Delta. Plus it has this little uh, blue box with a number in it. So 32 is 3,200 feet is the ceiling of this class Delta. Airspace has kind of a weird shape. It's not a complete circle. It's kind of cut off, but I think that is because of these mountains that it's sitting in right here. But anyways, so we'll be flying to the west, about 40 miles to the west, uh, and this big area here is Ontario Airport. So our airport we're flying to though is over here, El Monte, Kilo Echo Mike Tango, which is also a class Delta. Um, and that one has a 2,400 feet ceiling here. So it's also by, drawn by the dotted blue line, as you can see. But see, we're flying into an airspace we have not done yet, which is a class Charlie. And how do you know it's a class Charlie? It's drawn by this solid, uh, magenta circle so it actually has two shelves it has this center just like a class Delta uh, and then it also has this extra one around it now we can see right here it says SFC to 50 that surface to 5,000 feet is how uh, is basically what that airspace entails and then now here is 2700 to 5,000 feet so we're gonna be taking off pretty darn close to that airport so uh, we'll either be taking off runway 6 uh, to the east or runway 2 7 to 8 uh, I think it's 27 to the west which we would need to make a, uh, a north a turn to the north to stay out of this so we could go either you know runway 6 to the east runway 27 or 28 I believe to the west and make a, a right turn to you know a northern departure northwestern departure or we could stay below 2700 feet and stay out of this airspace so we just have to be uh, below or above these numbers here Anyways, pretty straightforward flight, real short flight. It's just really kind of to try to test us uh, as we fly through these airspaces. So we'll be flying straight through Ontario. But what I plan on doing is kind of taking off on either runway and kind of uh, phasing to the north here towards this river uh, to the north of the Ontario class Charlie as we contact uh, Ontario to, uh, you know, for base. basically like it's asking for transition over the airspace is what we're going to be doing. Uh, so that we can fly through it and get permission to fly through it. It's, it's very similar to uh, flying through a class Delta. You just have to have two-way communication with ATC. Once they say your call sign, you are pretty much clear to fly inside of the airspace, but they may tell you to stay outside of it. Um, but once they say your name, we can actually fly in it. So we're going to try to stay in this area here to the north uh, east of Ontario Airport until we get clearance to transition through the class Charlie airspace. So we're going to get to flying here soon, but real quick, just want to go over a few little points that they made in the documentation. I thought it was very helpful to other people. Uh, so basically, normally in a class Charlie airspace uh, has two rings in it. So you see this middle inside ring and you see this outside ring. There's another class Charlie down here. I think this is Riverside. So there's another one and there's another one down here, Santa Maria. So down here in the SoCal area, there's a lot of airspace, a lot of, a lot of things going on. So we're going to be using the GPS today just to make sure we stay out of these other airspaces. Uh, but anyway, so normally a class Charlie airspace has two rings which are centered on the airport the first ring goes from about you know five miles uh, five miles uh, and then it goes from surface to about 4,000 at a normal one now each of them change depending on the terrain around it and airports around it uh, class Charlie airspace is depicted on VFR charts so as a solid magenta line we've already mentioned that uh, within the airspace altitude shown in MSL in hundreds of feet so we've already mentioned that two-way also uh, the two-way radio communication requirement is, uh, is identical to the class Delta requirement. You must contact ATC and ATC must reply with your call sign before you enter the airspace. So same thing applies with the class Delta airspaces. Uh, so same thing. So the important part is in order for us to transition the class Charlie airspace, uh, we have to establish a two-way two -way communication with the appropriate approach facility. And the frequencies we can find on the chart as like these white boxes here. So it says contact SoCal approach within 20 nautical miles on 127 decimal zero. And down here it says SoCal approach within 20, 20 nautical miles at 134 decimal zero. Up here has 1255, 1213. So that's what these 
boxes mean basically that's the approach frequency that you need to be talking to if you're flying within that area uh, so in the documentation even though we're over here it actually tells us to contact here the thing is uh, even if you contact the wrong controller they can direct you to the right one so don't feel you know if you don't know who to contact it's good to contact somebody and somebody can probably help you let you know where you need to be talk who you need to be talking to so uh, also according to the documentation for today's training flight uh, requesting a class Charlie transition is similar to requesting VFR flight following which we've done in the last two videos in this series on initial contact you provide your call sign location altitude and request so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into that and uh, and just kind of show you how that works now again I'm not teaching anybody anything I'm doing this myself I'm training myself I'm learning myself so I may make mistakes here and there um, you know you can leave in the comments if you see a mistake but I'm gonna do my best to my I'm gonna do my best to do it correctly the first time and try to pass our cat 7 rating today so let's go ahead and get started all right we only have one passenger on board today and he's already been briefed flying pretty light today no passengers in the back we are flying a, a new aircraft of mine the Cyrus SR20. Actually, SR22 is pretty fun. Uh, let's go ahead and get things started. You will go ahead and avionics are on, nav lights are on, no heat. Uh, we're good there. So, what we need to do is come down here, turn up the mixture. We'll prime that a little bit. You can actually hear it priming. Listen real close. All right. We'll switch the fuel to the right engine first for now and that should be all we need to do get started and then turn the key all right looks like we got a good start let's go ahead and just check everything real quickly mixture is looking good fuel is looking good uh, we can actually hit a button over here that will change so we can see all of our rpms and uh oil temperatures and power and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll leave that on. Turn on the pitot heat, not that we really need it. Turn on the, ultimate, uh, the uh, alternators and fuel pump and we are good to go. Doors are shut and closed. Passengers are buckled in. Let's go ahead. It's a little quiet on the radio so I'm gonna actually check and make sure um, that uh, we're on a correct frequency. We should be on ground right now, one two one decimal eight. All right, we're just gonna roll. At least the parking right. We're just gonna roll over to our right. Las Vegas altimeter three zero one six five. You had the weather. You can expect the uh, visual approach runway two six left. I mentioned this in my last video, but you actually don't need to contact ground as long as you are in the non-movement area, which I believe we are actually in. We're not. We're not on a taxiway. Departure American 427. Beautiful day out here in San Bernardino today. Looking forward to flying. Not sure what the turbulence looks like. November 116 at transient parking. West departure rated taxi with information Zulu and CAT 7. 0116 for San Bernardino ground runway 6 taxi violent. Runway 6, taxi via Alpha, November 116, Bravo. High correction. Let's go runway 24 via Alpha. 24 via Alpha, 16, Bravo. Alright, let's get going. John Wayne Ground, Cherokee 3572 Tango, ready for taxi IFR. 3572 Tango, John Wayne Ground, runway 20 left, taxi via Alright, so Charlie. we'll be taxiing to 24 via Alpha. That's going to be off left our left. And I believe. Alpha is going to be over there. Southwest 1809. Since we're going to have to bring you out farther for descent anyway, would you like to go ahead and do the ILS for uh, 26 left? I love the mountains over here, man. Beautiful airport to fly in and out of. Got some nice scenery in the background. A 
We'll see how smooth the air is once we get in the air. But from the looks of it, it looks pretty smooth. Not many clouds. We'll be expecting to uh, go about 4,500. If we can, we'll go to 6,500, but uh, not planning to make it that kind of high. Once we get to the whole short line here, we'll go ahead and switch over to tower. On a one one nine or four five. Touring South eleven LSI climb maintain five level two eight zero. Right. Confirm runway two four. November one one six Bravo holding short runway two four. For one one Bravo San Bernardino Tower runway two four clear for takeoff wind two five zero six. Two four clear for takeoff November one one six Bravo. All right, time to go. Land lights are on, flaps are down. Way is clear, approach is clear. Passenger is ready. Uh, probably, he didn't give us any like departing instructions, so we'll just making a right turn. Way out. How do I switch this back? 70 day kind of departure. Let's go. Slowly bring the engine up. Try to keep it on the center line. Seven two tango, kind of had to depart. Three five seven two tango. This thing is real squirrely three, on five, the. Three five seven two tango, say again. The runway. Three five seven two to kind of depart. Contact departure three five seven two ten. There we go. Southwest eighteen zero nine. This baby is so slow. Tower one one nine or point nine. In a flat runway heading, try to maintain center line on the way out. Best as possible. SoCal departure Cherokee three five seven two. With you, two thousand two. A lot of turbulence here. Yeah, three, five, seven, Around. Two, seven, three, five, seven, two, maintain three thousand. Fourteen hundred feet. Leaving two thousand five hundred. Flying three six zero. But just the approach. Say approach request. Have to uh, remember that uh, see, that uh, airspace is going to start right, about three, three, five miles and, out uh, we're from the airport. Two thousand. We're climbing to three thousand. But flaps up. Turn heading at three zero zero at uh, two thousand five hundred. So we don't want to go above. I believe it's two thousand. Four hundred. Two thousand seven hundred feet. If we're greater than five miles away from San Bernardino. Or four nine two two to the limit. Request BFR flight following to San Nicolas Island. Not all pilot. Five hundred. Call damper and flight director. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> so we'll stay at about 2,500. Or now. This time. For 3572 Tango, IFR cancellation received. Maintain VFR. What are your intentions? Really bouncy, man. Holy crap. Uh, I've got a little simulator problem, so I'm trying to bail out. Or 72 Tango, Roger. So do you want to continue the approach or terminate the flight? Go ahead and turn we right here. The flight. Sorry, 3572. We'll fly north, yeah, northwest. Right Day. Hopefully you guys don't get dizzy. All this bouncing around. Seven thousand five hundred ten miles out. ILS two six left. A little bit too steep on that turn. Two six left. Clear to land. Two six left. Clear to land. Southwest eighteen zero nine. So fly, flying to the north, just try to get out of uh, San Bernardino's class Delta airspace, and also trying to get stay outside of the Ontario's class Charlie airspace. We're already pretty high. Departure frequency one one nine or point six, squawk three one four five. Got a good climb going. 
I believe as long as we continue north to this mountain here, we should stay outside of the class trial. The question is, how do I know when I get out of the class delta? Actually, we're already out of it. We're above it. Yeah, the class delta ceiling was 3200, and we're at 34, so we're already out of the class delta of San Bernardino. So we can go ahead and switch over to uh, 127 decimal zero to get our class Charlie clearance now. It's so bouncy. Hopefully I don't get you guys sick with all this turbulence and bouncing around. Alright, so I'm going to actually turn the autopilot on. We can go level. There we go. So that way... I can focus on the radios here for a little bit. I'll go ahead and climb up to 4,500 though. There go. We're only a few hundred feet away from it. Right now we're just flying directly north, trying to avoid the class delta of Ontario. Which I don't think that's what that airport is right there. Hope not. If it is, then we're already in it. I think that might be Riverside? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and contact... Uh, what is it? SoCal Approach. Vector 427, about lucky one arrival, advised leaving pot level 300. I think we're about 15 ish miles over to the northeast of it. Yeah, we're about 12 miles. SoCal approach, November 116, Bravo, about 12 miles northeast of Ontario, level 4500, requesting Ontario class Charlie transition, destination, destination El Monte. Well, one six Bravo, so Cal approach squawk four five six two. Bring it squid and squawk four five six two. Or one six Bravo squawk four five six two. Squawking four five six two November one one six Bravo. Erica calling ready to taxi. Let's go ahead and make that turn. Bish bish four nine two two zero Lambert Brown way two seven taxi by Bravo. We're getting into these ahead. mountains. For 116 Bravo, radar attack 9 miles west of the uh, San Bernardino Airport, Ontario, altimeter 3006. 3006 radar contact, November 116 Bravo. Alright, so we are clear to fly through the Clash Charlie airspace. Let's continue our left turn on route. Here at 4,500. He seems to be he seems to be okay with that. We had a nice little scenic view though, headed over towards these mountains, looking amazing. Now it's actually pretty clear out here. That haze you see in the distance, that's actually X Enviro issue. I'm using X Enviro for my uh, clouds and weather, and the last update it it made things look <laughs> a bit different like the clouds i, I don't know like there's some way, some things i like about it but a lot more things i don't like about it so um, i'm leaning towards using x plane 11's default clouds again and i may do that for the next flight if they don't update it before then we'll see we'll see what happens but uh yeah i just i don't like how hazy it is out there if i go to the outside view it actually looks a whole lot better. 
so it seems to be like an interior problem. So we should be passing just north of Ontario Airport. Let's take a look at our map one time. Yes, yeah, so here it is. We're pretty much uh, Ontario's going to be right at our eleven o'clock. And as we're transitioning the uh, over Ontario, I'll probably go ahead and get uh, the eight is ready, which is going to be on one one eight one seven five for El Monte, so we can just have that tuned in and ready to go. One one eight. One seven five. We don't need to contact them just yet, or not really contacting them, just listening in. We don't really need to listen to it just yet. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that dialed in so I can click on it when I need it. Uh, I'm expecting to stay on this frequency here for a little while. But yeah, man, I'm leading towards moving back to. Uh, X planes clouds. I believe that's Ontario right there. Yeah. Thought that there were nine uh, tanks to the parking. Right off five, Bravo. Cross runway two five, right off five, monogram to the other side. Getting a bit bumpy over here. Pretty much going as fast as I can go. We're leveled off. Going about 145 knots, 155 is the ground speed. Outside air, te air temperature is about 23 Celsius. Local time is 1400. Plenty of fuel on board, short flight again. Only using about 80% power, 2700 RPM. It's a pretty easy plane to fly. I have not mastered landing it yet, so we'll see. We'll be in for a treat. <laughs> So he didn't really mention how far he wanted wanted us to stay away from Ontario. He didn't really ever. He never really said anything about that. But that is the airport right there. So we'll turn our heading over to the right just a little bit. It's Bishop Four Nine Two Two Zero Limburg. Try not to fly directly over the airport. Is uh, three zero zero one two. That was pretty easy though. The little uh, Charlie transition. That was, that was nice. I know again it's going to get more complicated as we go along. A lot busier airspace. This is more complicated procedures and things like that towards the end of our uh, cat ratings. But I'm glad that we were able to make it to the cat seven. Looking forward to the same route. Looking forward to the rest of it. I just want to verify something about the so we're passing Ontario. Let's go ahead and uh, tune in real quick to the ATIS sure, for El Monte. Down to one, two. The information alpha. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky clear. Temperature 33. Dew point minus 6. Altimeter 3009. Arriving runway 19. Departing runway 19. Advise on initial contact you have alpha. All right, guys, we have Alpha. Looks like the landing runway is going to be 1-9. It's going to have us landing to the south. That may change depending on what tower decides to give us. El Monte Information Alpha. Go ahead and tune 20. out of that. And we'll get tower frequency ready. Two, 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 so Cal departure rate. Just one, two, one, two. Uh, proceed on course and cancel altitude restriction. That's going to be our tower frequency for El Monte. Uh, pattern altitude is going to be 1,000 AGL above, which can be about 1,295 MSL. We have information alpha. Towers on 1212. We got that plugged in, ready to go whenever race switches over. And ground will be on 1259. Put that down here on the bottom. Lurker 427, count LA Center 128.6. Roll on 6, Rob Baja, had the website in Gabriel, report the airport inside.
do not have the airport in sight just yet for November 106 Bravo. <clears throat> Burger 427 dollars center, Burger 3004. He's already asking us if we can see the airport. I do not see it just yet. Switch to uh, nav here. Turn us on course. I believe it should be over here somewhere. Again, this freaking X and viral haze crap is making it really hard to see. Should, should be able to see it by now. Is that it right there? Might be it. I don't see the airport, guys. Oh, there it is. I have the field in sight. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so, okay, I'll approach November 116 Bravo. I have the field in sight. One six Bravo, keep your squat code contact Almani Tower one two one point two. One two one point two one six Bravo. All right, it's gonna be one two one point two, which is not what I had programmed. Go, not far off. So how far are we though? We are ten miles out. Alright, cool. Oh, Monty Tower, November one one six Bravo, ten miles east, full stop landing without information alpha. November one one six Bravo, Monty Tower, enter left downwind runway two, Christian one one nine. Uh, the wind to correction one one nine or zero at eight gust one five port turning back. Okay. Sorry, uh, can you repeat the end of that? You kind of broke up. One one six Bravo, enter a left downwind runway one nine or report turning base wind one nine or zero at eight gust one five. Left downwind one nine or will report wind on left base for November one one six Bravo. All right, getting. Runway one nine. Left downwind approach. Make it happen. Uh, I do believe we have the field in sight. I had the field in sight. I actually lost it. I no longer see the field. It's directly ahead of us. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it's right there. Start descending. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and fly it from here. Turn off autopilot. Back on the throttle here. Lose some speed and altitude. Matter of fact, we'll lose the speed first, and then we'll lose the altitude. Airport elevation is about 296, so contact. not far from sea level. Most of the enter into left downwind run runway 19. Port went on a left base. Kind of flat to the left here. I do have the airport in sight. Landing lights are on. Flaps are up at the moment. It's getting a little bit bumpy as we get closer to the airport as we drop out to the Really bumpy. And uh, you can expect the uh, localizer on my 27 approach. It's gonna be a fun approach. Make sure I don't forget to call my base.
still really fast. Too. All right, I'm gonna turn into a base, uh, to a left down one here. Try not to bank it too much. We're already banking a lot. Wait, it is bouncy. This is very uncomfortable. The contact LA Center one three five point five. Ignore the scenery up there. Two different colors. Record four twenty seven one eight. Reduce speed two zero. Jesus. Zero knots. Contact so called two four point three five. Right, we're on our left downwind now. Trying to hold the nose up to uh, bleed off some speed. 100 knots. We're 4 hour 2 2 Zulu's Island Center. Catalina Altimeter 3015. For 16 Bravo, clear to land runway 19. Clear to land runway 19 and 16 Bravo. Let's go ahead and turn that base now. Uh, so he gave us clear to land. I don't know if I still need to call my left base. <laughs> I assume I don't need to call base if he's already clear to land. Alright, losing a lot of speed. The landing is going to be sketched. Roger. You expect that for it. Flaps two. Matter of fact, I think that's flaps full. Yeah. It's two sets of flaps with flaps full on this plane. Alright, we are low. Just above stall speed. <laughs> Perfect South 11 Sayers speed. Perfect Wings 511, maintain 250 knots or greater uh, for the next five miles. We'll have uh, a little slower for you here in a bit for traffic to follow. Alright, it's smoothing it out now. One white, one white light. Spirit wings five eleven clear. Localizer on a uh, two seven approach. You can delete the speed restriction at land. Three. We only want two though. We only want two. Because yeah, now we're high and fast. Seven eight one over two three five two Victor Cessna one seven two slant Golf. I think we're trying to put in information. Go back. Questioning uh, VFR footfall to Palm Springs five miles per minute. For five two five three Victor San Bernardino ground departure frequency one three five point four squawk five two correction five six two. Oof, a little rough there. That was definitely not a soft landing. I think we might have bounced it too. That's going to be one three five point four. Take this first runway here. One three five point four. I think we did keep. And welcome to a Monte, guys.
El Monte Tower, November 116 Bravo, clear runway 19er at Delta, ready to taxi parking. Bravo, Texas Bravo, Texas Parking, have a nice day, pass the cast Taxi in the parking, November 116 Bravo, and thank you, sir. Alright, guys, you heard him. We passed. Touring South 11, Limerick Tower, 118.3, have a nice day. Alright, let's find us a nice little parking spot. We'll park over here, right by the FBO. Somewhere there, Bravo, number 235 to Victor. At the north ramp, we'll come back. Yeah, that, that, that landing was rough. That, that landing was rough. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend like it was a good landing at all. Two, four miles. Still new to this aircraft. I'll say that's my excuse. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying. I've only landed this thing maybe like three times, and all of them were horrible. But what did, I got to figure out the, how to get it the um, angle of attack right or something. Number Tower, good uh, afternoon. I'm going to park five right over nine here. Out on the, uh, so, Kremberg Tower, runway 27. It's, land, fun, it's fun plane to fly. A lot of fun. Looks good, too. Alright, set in the park and break. There it is. And we'll shut her off. Alright, killed it. Alright guys, well thanks again for flying with us. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, that f short VFR flight, our seventh training flight for the Cat 7. As you heard the guy, we did pass. So thanks to him, thanks to the controllers, thanks to Pilot Edge for creating an amazing network. I had a lot of fun, learned a lot about this on this flight. I learned a lot. I've never done this transitioning thing. I never transitioned in another airspace. So it was interesting to see how to do that in a VFR aircraft. So looking forward to our next light so tune in for the uh cat 8 it's coming up next can be uh basically a class charlie departure and arrival so we'll be flying from a class charlie airspace to another class charlie airspace so it should be fun i'll probably do that in another vfr aircraft too so see you guys next time remember you got three choices give up give in or give it all you got peace love and god bless you see you guys next time next flight